Hey there, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are diving into a flagship device from 2018, the LG G7 Plus ThinQ. So is it worth considering in 2024? Let's find it out. First off, let's talk about the specs. The G7 Plus ThinQ packs a punch with its Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, coupled with 6 GB of RAM. While it may not be the latest chipset, but it is still delivers smooth performance for everyday tasks, and even you can do lightweight gaming without any kind of issue. Let's talk about the display. On the LG G7 Plus ThinQ, you are getting a 6.1 inch display with QHD Plus resolution, and it got a notch. Personally, I'm not bothered by the notch. I have been living with a Seasable one on my iPhone for a while now. But let's focus on what really matters, the display itself. The display is truly impressive with HDR10 capabilities and the ability to reach up to 1000 nits in auto mode. Now, here's where personal preference comes into play. I have always preferred LCD display over OLED because they tend to last longer and offer true to life colors. One neat feature of this device is the ability to adjust the display resolution. You can actually reduce it to 720p if you prefer. Personally, I find this useful, especially considering the device battery capacity. When it comes to audio, the LG G7 Plus ThinQ doesn't hold back with its 32-bit quad deck, it's capable of delivering high-res audio that will elevate your listening experience to new heights. But what exactly can you do with this audio powerhouse? First off, let's talk about the 32-bit quad deck. This feature allows you to enjoy high-res audio quality when listening to music or other content using headphones or earphones. And the best part, it can even deliver high impedance headphone to provide crystal clear sound. But that's not all. The LG G7 Plus ThinQ also excels in voice recording with the ability to record in flat format at 24-bit depth. You can capture every detail with exceptional clarity. Plus, the voice recorder app offers a plethora of features to customize your recording experience. And if you are into videography, you are in for a treat. The LG G7 Plus ThinQ allows you to enable hi-fi sound recording while capturing videos. Now, let's talk about the camera. On the rear, we have a dual 16 plus 16 MP wide and ultra wide camera setup, complemented by laser autofocus. On the front, there is an 8 megapixel camera. Sounds promising, right? Well. Let me share my experience. Unfortunately, the reality doesn't quite match the specs. The pictures captured by the LG G7 Plus ThinQ often appears lifeless and washed out, lacking the vibrancy and depth you would expect. While the device offers a plethora of manual camera features, including manual mode for both photos and videos, the processing capabilities of the LG G7 Plus ThinQ hinder the effectiveness of this feature. However, I must admit that portrait mode does a decent job with edge detection. On the video, the LG G7 Plus ThinQ impresses with its ability to record up to 4K at 60fps using both wide and ultra wide cameras. You can even customize the settings like bitrate, and also you can choose HDR10 and Hi-Fi audio recording. Now, here's a disappointment. Despite having camera to API support, the compatibility of Gcam with LG G7 Plus ThinQ is underwhelming. While there are a few ports of Gcam available, they often fail to deliver the expected performance. Now, let's dive into a crucial aspect of any smartphone the battery life. The LG G7 Plus ThinQ comes with a 3000mAh battery pack 
in 2018, while the battery capacity might seem decent for its time, does it still meet the demands of today's users? In my experience, I have managed to squeeze out around 4 hours plus of screen on time with lightweight usage and I got this backup by decreasing resolution to 720p. When it comes to gaming, the battery life takes a hit and I typically get around 3 hours plus screen on time. On the bright side, the LG G7 Plus ThinQ supports fast charging and also you are getting wireless charging. However, when it comes to overall battery backup, I have to say it's a big no to go. So, is the LG G7 Plus ThinQ worth buying in 2024? Actually, it depends on price. If you get it in cheaper price, I think it's worth going with LG G7 Plus because it's a decent phone. You are getting really good audio display. And the build quality is top notch. Yes, you are getting a little bit older processor, but Snapdragon 845 is quite powerful processor and it can handle almost all the tasks very well if you are not going for gaming. The battery backup is not really that great, but it is decent enough if you are a lightweight user, but if you are a gamer, I would say you should not buy this device. It's not for gaming anymore. So that's all about LG G7 Plus, thank you. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.